What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below, as usual. This one is entitled Good Sex But Bad Love. A lot of times, people, because you know, our society is not, can't really necessarily get along. Um, and people talk about infidelity and couples and stuff like that. And cheating and everybody can see it somewhere attractive around the corner. And what happens is the sexual impulse kicks in. You want to know. You want that person sexually. And if the sex is good, that makes you like that person. But good sex, just because it makes you like a person, it can't make you love a person. It can only make you ignore the red flags for a certain amount of time. So you can be having good sex, bad love. You're not, you don't care about each other. You're not considerate to each other. You're not respectful towards each other. You can't have fun with each other. You can't have good conversation with each other. You can't be friends with each other. But you can have a great night of passion. And the funny part about that is this, you know, part of what makes good sex is part of what keeps relationships alive. But at the same time, Good sex can make a relationship stale too Because you want the balance of good sex and good love But we're living in the time in the society where People feel like they're getting one or the other People feel like they can get, they're getting good love from somebody with bad sex So then they go looking for good sex And wind up with bad love and I kind of alluded to this earlier in another video when I was talking about chemistry. But, you know, that's why I say chemistry is BS because mm -hmm. you, you can have chemistry with somebody. You can really have chemistry with somebody. But if the sex is bad, you don't like them no more. And you cannot have chemistry with somebody, but if the sex is good, mm -hmm. now all of a sudden you got love for them. I don't know why I'm getting all these messages. <laughs> but um, th that's the crazy part about it, right? And nobody ever asked the question, like, it seems like people, we're greedy because what's the threshold for good enough sex-wise? And what's the threshold for, for good enough love-wise? Because if the sex is on 10 and the love is on 4, a relationship might come to an end, right? And if the love is on 10 and the sex is on 4, people are like, yeah, it's probably going to end. So what's the, you know, well, how are how you going to balance that thing out? You know, because every, there's always going to be attractive people out here. And a lot of what's going on is people are addicted to the attraction and the feeling of new, a, a new partner. And when guys would talk about pair bonding and stuff like that, uh, it would go over some people's heads because, you know, in some ways, when you get accustomed to having sex, it lessens your ability to pair bond with a person, you know. And after a while, the sex gets old because you can be you can be wearing somebody out that you don't like. Thus, this I, you know, you see it all the time where you see people, especially on social media. There are a lot of beautiful people who everybody's lusting after, but don't nobody really want. And there are a lot of people who are beautiful, but they're not putting themselves out there as overtly sexual. So fewer people want them because they look at it like, ah. Uh, 
are they good at love? And, no, and that's the one thing. There are no love thirst traps. If you notice that, like, there's no such thing as a love thirst trap. There's there's only a sexual thirst trap. So, you know, you feel like you, you, you it's a better probability that you're gonna get the good sex, and a less probability that you're gonna get the good love. And even in that whole dynamic, it's crazy because. With certain people, you expect to have great sex, but you also expect that that the sexuality that they put out in public is them overcompensating for them not being relationship material. And it's funny, but it's true, you know. And, and the flip side is because it's like a social media society, the people that got the balance right, they're not on social media like that. They're not. They're not. They may be on social media, but not like that. You know. So you know, all these 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 taking pictures everywhere is imitating good love. Because because when you have quote unquote relationship goals, it's a show. It's just a show. Because when you're good at love, it's something you do every day, and it comes from you're not a, you're not scared to do it. I mean, you may lose, but you're not scared. Just like, and I think that's that that's part of the thing that goes into the equation where most people aren't scared to find somebody to have good sex with, but they're and and they're willing to take that chance more so than take the chance on finding good love. This is why you wind up with good sex and bad love. You know, you willing, you, you if, if if somebody could turn you on, you willing, you you ready, willing, and able. But if somebody could treat you right, you're skeptical. Here's what it is. Plus, you hear it all the time. People will put up with more from a more attractive person. People will put up with more from a more. Uh, sexually in, in, a person that's better in bed you know a, a person who, who's better at sex than the average person a person who's a little bit freakier than the average person a person who will, will go the extra mile to make you feel good right and you know I don't want to try. Okay. Because what winds up happening is, as a guy, you know, you got to, if, if you if you having sex the right way, that's what's going to make her cook. That's what's going to make her wake up in the morning and bring, give you breakfast. That's what's going to have her all cuddled up with you all night long because she feels like you fulfilled that. You get what I'm saying? That's what's going to have her not, like, telling her girlfriends that, you know, I'm not going to hang out with y'all for a while. I'm going to hang out with him. You know, that's what's got her sitting in the house watching Netflix in, in, in some shorts and, and, a, and a tank top with no underwear and some flip flops just looking, just walking to get your attention back and forth. You know, that's the gateway to trying to get the love. And then people have a problem with that because at the end of the day, It's kind of like hustling backwards because what winds up happening is a lot of people get together with the intention of wanting to see how the sex is, not how the relationship would be. And then people fall into a relationship from having sex with somebody that they really don't connect with or want to connect with because the goal wasn't to connect with them. So, you know, some, uh, you, you, you we're falling in relationships by mistake, you know. And plus, people grow and evolve, and then, you know, and some relationships stay together because they're 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 able to be more experimental sexually, and it spices it spices up the the, the sex life, so it keeps the relationship keeps keeps you having attention, keeps a person paying attention to the relationship 
you know. And the irony of this is, you know, even when you get accustomed to it, once you get accustomed to having sex on a regular basis, you think you can get it from anywhere else. And I think, you know, for girls specifically, like women always say they can they can get they can get a guy anywhere. But they can't get a guy who will do them right anywhere. Sexually or relationship wise. So, you know, when they move on to the next, you better be better know you're getting compared. And guys are the same way, you know. If we burn a bridge with, with, with a, if we leave a girl who treat, treated us great, but the sex was in, eh, and we with a girl who treat, who doesn't treat us great, but the sex is like, yeah, you start thinking, you start weighing the, 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 the pros and cons, and, and, and I'm going to be honest, like, good sex doesn't be good love. It just doesn't, you know. But this is the day and time we live in where, you know, people don't believe that people can actually uh, maintain a healthy relationship. So on to the next. So just tell me what you think about that. Peace.